Hey guys, Purely Awesome Cuber here, and welcome to the third part of how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube. So in the first part, I taught you how to solve the white cross. Now we have that complete, right? The white cross with all the white edges placed correctly, oriented, orientated, and permutated. Uh, that just means uh, flipped correctly and positioned correctly. Like this is with green and white. Now, the next step is to solve the four white corners here and put them in between their correct centers to solve the white side and in turn the first layer. So, first you want to locate a white corner. Here we have a white, orange, and blue corner, right? So, it is not between the blue and orange centers, right? This is green and red. And it is not flipped correctly as to where white would be on the top. So you want to immediately bring this to the bottom because it's in the wrong spot. It's not in between its two correct centers, right? Bring it to the bottom. Now that messes up the cross, right? So you just want to do a simple D prime to move it out of the way so it's not affected when you bring the cross back up. So now it's on the bottom, and you want to put it between its uh, orange and blue centers, right? So here's orange, and here's blue. So you just bring it over, and it's between orange and blue. But the colors are flipped, and white is on the bottom, so that's not in the right spot, right? You want it to be up here. Well, there's a simple algorithm for this. When the white is on the bottom, right, the bottom layer, uh, opposite from white, but it's still in between its two correct centers. You want to do this algorithm. D prime, R prime, D, R. And you want to repeat that two more times. D prime, R prime, D, R. D prime, R prime, D, R. Right? So now we've done that. And this corner is in the correct spot. Just so happens that the edge got there too, but we'll get to that. Next time now, we see here is another corner, right? So this is the white, green, and red corner, but it's between blue and red, even though it is orientated correctly, which means the white is facing the top. So we still want to bring this to the bottom because it's in the right, wrong spot. So we bring that to the bottom, do a simple D prime, move it out of the way. And then you bring the cross back up. Now it's between the red and green centers, and the white is facing you on the right side of the cube. When you're holding it with the white facing you, it's on the right side, right? It's on the right side. So if that is the case, you want to do the algorithm before only just once, which is D prime, R prime, D, R. So now that corner is in the right position, and also the edge, that is fine. And now let me see here. So this is another bottom case, right? It's already on the bottom, though. The white is already on the bottom. So we just position it between its uh, green and orange center, because that's green and orange. And you do the algorithm three times. D prime, R prime, D, R. D prime, R prime, D, R. D prime, R prime, D, R. So that is a correct corner now. And finally, we have another bottom case. But I would like to show you the final case that you could have, which is where when the white is facing you, it's on the bottom. When it's facing you, it's on the left side. So what you want to do is with this is um, you want to hold it so it's facing you, right? And basically do the opposite of the algorithm. Right, hold it so the white is facing you on the left side. And do D, L, D prime, L prime. Right, so that's a little different than the other two. But the corner is, as you can see, in place. So those are the three cases that you can get when you're positioning the corners. And now look at that we have solved the first layer and the white side. 
stay tuned and I will be back in a little while showing you how to solve the second layer. Thanks for watching guys. See you next time.